Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Ford of Flemington in Flemington, New Jersey to check out this brand new 2024 Ford Maverick Lariat top trim action with Atlas Blue with a two-tone navy pier and desert brown trimmed soft vinyl interior. It looks really good. This is specced up high for a Maverick. So what we're going to do is check this out for 24. See what you can get. See how high you can go in the, for the money and for the amenities in a Maverick. So let's dig in. Front end of our Maverick Atlas Blue with the flat black grille looking good. The blue oval in the center. LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, standard bulbs for turn signals, flat black on the bottom of the grille. Looks good here on the Maverick as we come and take a look at our wheel and tire setup on the Lariat. Lariat action. This is what we're getting right here. We're getting an 18 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel, Ford badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. These wheels are wrapped in Michelin Primacy all season tires, 225 on the width, a 60 series sidewall 18s, all four corners, all wheel drive. As we pull on out, Maverick is looking good. I love the Atlas Blue with the silver accents on the side of the vehicle. Let me know what you guys think. All flat black around the windows, which I think was a smart move. As we move on in, here is the Lariat call out on the front fender. Looking good. Gloss black side view mirrors, color matched front and rear door handle, left side fuel filler cap, spray in bed liner. Up top, we got the old fashioned antenna. Please give me a shark fin here with a color matched roof. No sunroof, but you can get a power moonroof in a Maverick. It's about a thousand bucks extra if I remember right. Rear end of the Maverick. I love how they have Maverick stamped into the back of the tailgate, the blue oval in the middle. Backlighting is uh, LED taillight standard bulbs for turn signals. And then down below, we have a flat black bumper. We got the 4K tow package on this Maverick. So we'll go over those numbers when we take a look at the engine. But overall, it's a good utilitarian shaped truck, and boy, I tell you, this Lariat trim really adds some bling. We are under the hood of this 24 Maverick Lariat. What are we looking at for a power plant? We have Ford's 2 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. 250 horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque. Now, this Maverick is equipped with the optional 4K tow package, which means this Maverick can tow up to 4,000 pounds. A regular Maverick without that package can only tow up to 2,000 pounds. MPGs, 22 in the city, 29 on the highway, 25 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior of this Maverick, you're going to know, Mike, you know, these Mavericks, I'm expecting them to be in the 20s for money. And you're telling me this is top trim big money? And I'm like, you betcha, this Maverick is big money for a Maverick. Let's check it out. But if you want all the amenities in here, you want the nicer look, the nicer feel, the 4K tow package and all that other good stuff, the all-wheel drive, heated ventilated, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and all that jazz, wireless charging, then you got to go this route. And this is what we got. Base price, 24 Lariat all-wheel drive Maverick, 34855 bucks. This vehicle has one option on it. That's the 4K tow package for an additional $745. We then have to add in destination and delivery of $1,595 from Ford's Hermosillo, Mexico assembly plant. And we have a total MSRP for this vehicle from the factory of $37,195. That's all the money on a Maverick, and then probably a little bit more. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator with the carpeted floor mats in the vehicle. Seating wise, we got power seats with lumbar for the driver, manual assist for the front passenger. Navy Pier, desert brown two-tone, looks really good, bolstering nice and forgiving, headrest nice and soft, really sharp looking interior in this Maverick. Door panel for the Maverick. There we go. We got some hard black plastic up, stop, up top still, even though with the Lariat Action, black door handle. We got the bronze look. We have a semi-soft armrest with the Navy Pier. 
door panel, you got those functional areas where you got can put in your water bottles and whatnot in there. So it still looks really, really good up top. Again, we're going to have a little bit of soft touch, more of this bronze trim that goes into the heat and air vent looking good. And then a nice large glove box. Up top here, we'll start up here with our storage area right above up on the dash. And then if we really look in here, we got the B&O sound system in this Maverick as well with this top trim Lariat action. Now, infotainment screen, Sync 3. When you go Lariat, you get Sync 3. Wired CarPlay, Android Auto will wake it up a little bit. It is pretty responsive. It's got the built-in nav for you. It's got your audio action, Sirius XM, and your other channels. You can Bluetooth your phone. You can go to your apps. You can go to your settings. You can get everything going. You get your automatic updates. You get your Wi-Fi hotspot going. You can set up your driver profiles. You have a little cubby for storage over here, just like every other Maverick. But it's a really easy system to use. We go to reverse. Nice large backup camera with trajectory and that tow center line. Nice and clear. Takes up the whole screen. So I like that. But we go sync three when you go Lariat. Standard, regular volume and tuning knobs, though. Four-way hazards. Seek for your music. Down further, two heat and air vents. Dual zone climate control with three-stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger and a heated steering wheel. So they got you covered here in this Lariat trim. Push button start right there. Down here, look at that action. USB-A, USB-C, wireless charging pad right there couple of areas where you can put your phone upright if you want and they're all rubberized so things won't roll around nicely done and this is the button in here to open up that rear window behind the crew cab so we'll do that right now I'll set that push it in opens up pull it closes up so there you have it we got big action going on in this Maverick including that now here's the dial to go through this eight-speed automatic with low gear Electronic emergency brake, as we come through here now, engine auto stop, start, on, off, drive modes, traction control, off. That is your auto vehicle hold, on or off. Two cup holders, the Navy Pier flat uh, plastic, which is good, rather than gloss black. And here we go with our key fob. Unlock, lock, remote start, panic button, Ford badge on the back, looking good. Another area for storage, another area for storage center armrest in the desert brown nice and soft open it on up and you have a nice area in there to put some junk like they have in here <laughs> maverick wheel this is a soft vinyl uh, wrapped wheel with the stitching ford badge we have some trim down here to lift up the wheel round bottom wheel no problem getting in and out so no sweat there flat black on the switch gear Cruise control over here on the left, plus your volume controls, safety suite controls. And then over here on the right, you got you can control the digital portion of your dash, and then your telephone and voice commands are right there. No paddles. On the left, you got your adaptive high beams and your turn signals. On the right, you got your windshield wiper. Down over here, we got our bed light. We can adjust our headlights, brighten dim the dash. Trailer disconnect right here. So they got you covered there. And then... We have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel here in our Maverick. And then we go to our dash. Looking good. Analog digital combo, right? Analog gauges for your speedometer and tachometer. And then it's digital for everything else. Let's check out our drive modes. What do we got? We got normal, tow haul, slippery. Eco, Sport, Normal. There you have it. That's a lot of modes for a Maverick. That is nice. That's almost like goat modes in a Bronco Sport. I like that quite a bit. Let me know what you guys think about that action. And then, of course, if you want to go through extra information, you can here in the center screen, depending on what you may want to see. It's a bit limited, but it still is nice to, to give you some highlights here on the center screen. Overhead console, here's the spot for your shades right there. You want to have your LED dome lighting come on and off when you open and close the door. That button stays off, the lights come on, close the door, the lights will dim out. No roof to show you, standard rear view mirror, sun visor with vanity, 
Analyte. Does it slide? Yes, it does. Getting in the back seat, the crew cab area of the Maverick Lariat. I have the seat set for my driving position. So in we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. 5 foot 11, enough room for my head, shoulders, and knees. It's a little close, but not bad. We got the soft vinyl all the way down with a nice large seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. And then here, we got a bit of a command center. We don't have heat and air vents, but we got USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source back here. So they got you covered there. Nicely done. And then our rear door panel, same action as the front. No change in materials, no change in design. Here's a front door panel. Here's the rear door panel. Back seats, same soft leather, navy pier, desert brown, two-tone, nice and soft, really comfortable. And then we have our center armrest, semi-soft, two cup holders. So they got you covered here in the back of this Maverick crew cab. Of course, we have extra storage space in the Maverick with these straps right here. You have to pull it up and there she goes. And you got storage on either side underneath the crew cab seats in the rear. So that is a nice touch here in this Maverick, nicely done. All right, coming to the back of the Maverick, I want to take a look at our tow action right here. So here is the seven uh, wiring harness and the seven pin connector right here. Now, when they add this 4K tow package, they just don't add this, but they also add an additional transmission uh, fluid or oil cooler, as well as additional cooling fan and an upgraded radiator into the Maverick as well to make sure the engine doesn't overheat under load because you're going from 2,000 pounds up to 4,000 pounds. They got to do some extra stuff to make sure it can handle it. Now, tailgate action, we're looking again at that spray and bed liner, manual letdown of the tailgate. Looks good. With this package on it, you're looking at 1,500 pounds of payload capacity in the Maverick. We do have those tie downs with the side rails. So let them slide. We have the power here in the back with the bed lighting. So it's a really nice package here. And of course, you're looking at a 54 inch bed in the Maverick. Nicely done. All right, window sticker time. Sorry for the glare, but it's very cloudy and I'm getting a little full snow flurry on me. But here you go, 24 Maverick Lariat. S standard equipment across the top. Options. Total vehicle MSRP. Made in Mexico. Fuel economy estimates. Crash rating. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right. We are on the road in this 24 Maverick Lariat, top trim action, Atlas Blue. We have the ice version, not the hybrid version, in case you're wondering. Great visibility out the windshield, side view mirror, side glass. Full set of safety suite technology in here, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist. All that jazz is in this Maverick. So they got you set there for all that action. Handling, nice. It is very nice. It is very solid, very direct. No issues there. Feels good. Plenty of horsepower out of this. Two liter turbocharged inline four. Eight speed is shifting pretty smooth. Now it is a little bit bouncy in here because we do have a short wheelbase truck. So it is gonna give you a bit of a bouncy ride bit of a jostle I would say if you're on some of these back roads that are a little rougher than your normal highways I would say but we got a lot of nice tech in here I mean come on I mean just awesome stuff because now you're looking at sink 3 heated seats heated steering wheel wireless charging pad built-in nav you got the power window in the back you got the 4k tow package You got the four people just don't look you got the 4k tow package in here now the 4k tow package gets you from 2,000 pounds of towing up to 4,000 pounds of towing now I want I'm going to read th this information 
because I don't want to get it wrong as far as the specifics that I can get regarding this 4K tow package. Now you have a seven wire harness and a seven pin connector in, in the back. You also get upgraded cooling fan and radiator and you get an auxiliary transmission oil cooler and a lower uh, axle gear ratios for that extra towing. So that is the, some of the highlights of the 4K tow package. So they did enhance the vehicle to make sure it could handle the extra weight out back. So I like that they thought it through, not just slapped on something and said, here you go. Uh, we'll check the brakes. Brakes stop on a dime, no problem. Nice and straight. And now we'll take off. And no problem, piece of cake going down the road. This Turbo 4 gets the vehicle up to speed, the 8-speed shifting just fine. Handling is competent, no problem. But, you know, 37, 38,000 is a lot of money for a Maverick. And you know what? That's not even close to what you can get these two. For a road-going Maverick, not set up for off-road, this is about, I would say, the limit, 38 Gs, 37, 38 Gs. But if you want to slap on the Tremor package, right, and some extra goodies and the roof, because remember, the roof adds a grand. Uh, now you're in the low 40s for a Maverick. Maverick Tremor, Lariat trim, loaded up with the roof, you're looking at like 42, maybe even 43 for it. So that's about as high as you can go with, but again, that's adding an off-road package, extra ride height, enhanced four-wheel drive, all that action. But when you do that, you can't have the 4K tow package. So it's either one of the two. But we're gonna get some road noise. There's not a lot of sound, sound deading in here. And this cabin is a bit noisy. I would say more than a bit noisy. It's quite noisy in here. So expect that when you get a Maverick. Turning radius though, whips right around. Look at that. Wow, looking good, 18 feet. And then we make another left and off we go down the road. Piece of cake, easy peasy, one, two, three. So a lot to like about this Lariat, it all depends. If you in want a Maverick, there's a lot to choose from, right? Because you can go gas only and get this two liter turbocharged inline four. You can go hybrid, get the two and a half liter four cylinder hybrid engine with a CVT instead of the eight speed automatic, right? And you can also go from your standard trim to XLT to Lariat. So they got three trim levels. You can go front wheel drive or you can go all wheel drive or you can go enhanced four wheel drive. You got the 4K tow package like we mentioned earlier. You can go FX4 off-road package or Tremor off-road package. There is so many different things that you can do with a Maverick now here in the 2024 model year. Came in at the end of the 2023 model year I would say with that Tremor action. But a really well done, compact pickup, broad range of trim levels, cost uh, options, price points that you can be at if you want a Maverick. But if you want all the creature comforts, if you want all the niceties, if you want the more comfy seats, if you want the better tech, then the Lariat's the way to go. So let me know what you guys think. Is this overkill on the Maverick? Is this too much action? Would you go down in trims, go something, go, some, go uh, to a lower trim, maybe go front wheel drive, maybe go hybrid? There's a lot of things you can do. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you would do here in the Maverick lineup. But I would like to thank Sioka Ford of Flemington here in Flemington, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Ford Maverick Lariat all-wheel drive in Atlas Blue for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video 
and I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.